ladies and gentlemen, welcome to America Talks Live. It's Monday, and boy, let the fun begin. The countdown to election, we're just a week and a day away. Lots to talk about. Andy McCarthy joins us. But first, my Newsmax TV colleague, Bill Tucker, has all the latest. All right, thank you, Steve. The FBI has obtained a warrant to begin reviewing newly discovered emails that may be relevant to the Hillary Clinton email server investigation. The newly discovered emails were found on a shared laptop between Clinton top aide Uma Abedin and her estranged husband, disgraced former Congressman Anthony Weiner. The FBI opened the Clinton email case after or reopened it after potentially relevant emails were found while investigating Weiner. FBI Director James Comey is facing a great deal of criticism for releasing partial information in an election year. Former Attorney General Eric Holder writes in an op-ed for The Post today that the decision was incorrect. It violated long-standing Justice Department policies and tradition. The news is looking up to help Donald Trump, by the way. Three polls released today show him gaining on Hillary Clinton, making her razor-thin edge heading into the last week of the election. A lot of fun for those of us who are watching. Trump credits his boost to one individual. We never thought we were going to say thank you to Anthony Weiner. <laughs> no. We never thought we were going to say thank you to Anthony Weiner. For more on these stories and many others, head on over to Newsmax.com. Steve, back to you. All right, Bill, thank you very much. And ladies and gentlemen, of course, when we left you Friday, uh, we told you about the breaking news uh, that the uh, FBI was reopening the investigation into Hillary's emails. Since then, they've gotten a search warrant, and they're looking at... Uh, up, Wall Street Journal says up to 600,000 emails on uh, a computer that uh, Uma Abedin and Anthony Weiner shared. Uh, Donald Trump made the announcement at one of his rallies. As you've heard, it was just announced on Friday that the FBI is reopening their investigation into the criminal and illegal conduct of Hillary Clinton. Hillary has nobody but herself to blame for her mounting legal problem. Her criminal action was willful, deliberate, intentional, and purposeful. And he had this uh, thank you for one Anthony Weiner. Uma. They just found a lot of them. We never thought we were going to say thank you to Anthony Weiner. Now, Donald Trump was very prophetic back in the summer when he warned everybody about this. Watch. So she's married to Anthony Weiner. Do you think there's even a 5% chance that she's not telling Anthony Weiner now of a public relations firm what the hell is coming across? Do you think there's even a little bit of a chance? I don't think so. Are there any women in this room who are in love with their husbands who wouldn't be telling them everything? You would or wouldn't? No, she said, I wouldn't, but I'm in love. No, you will. Of course, that was August of 2015. And he also put out a statement. Uh, let's look at the statement that he had put out. And this is from uh, August of this year. Uma is making a very wise decision. This is a talking about the divorce. I know Anthony Weiner well, and she'll be far better off without him. I only worry for the country in that Hillary Clinton was careless and negligent in allowing Weiner to have such close proximity to highly classified information. Who knows what he learned and who he told? Uh, it's just another example of Hillary Clinton's bad judgment. It is possible that our country and its security have been greatly compromised by this. So he was right on target, ladies and gentlemen. Now, uh, Hillary Clinton... Uh, seems to think uh, it's not going to matter much. You have 11 days to go. What would you say to a voter who right now will be seeing you and hearing what you're saying, saying, I didn't trust her before, I don't trust her anymore right now, and they're heading to the ballot box tomorrow? You know, I think people a long time ago made up their minds about uh, the emails. I think that's factored in to uh, what people think, and uh, now they're choosing a president. So I would urge everybody to get out and vote early in all the states that uh, have early voting. Yeah, she wants everybody to get out early before uh, maybe another shoe drop. 